Good morning, Chevy. Morning. Hi, guys. I'm Chevy. This is my big fluffy tail. Very nice, Chevy. Good morning, everybody. It's the weekend! And I bought a motorcycle and I'm excited. It's getting safety on Monday and I should be getting possession of it as soon as it's done. So hopefully Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll see how long it takes to get it out of there. But uh, I sold my motorcycle yesterday on Friday. Super excited about it. It went to a very lucky guy in the Pembina area of Winnipeg. I hope that bike does you well, bud. I hope that uh, you have as much fun and make as many memories as I have on it. Uh, I bought a brand new in 2013, put about 8,000 kilometers or 5,000 miles on it myself, and uh, it was a great bike. It was sad to see it go, but I'm very excited to move off of a sport bike onto a cruiser. I got a 2005 Yamaha V-Star 650. I'm very excited to get onto it. It's got custom exhaust, so it has a nice deep-throated rumble to it. It's going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to have a lot of fun this summer on it. Super excited. Way too nice of a day to waste it inside. Deja. We had a big rainstorm last night, didn't we? So I'm filming this part of the vlog on Sunday. Saturday night, we had a pretty a killer thunderstorm. A couple cracks of thunder woke me out of dead sleep, so it was pretty awesome. It was really windy, and this whole area here just got all covered, in, covered in dirt. We just finished doing our backyard now though. Mowing everything, trimming everything. Now we're just gonna hang out and everything. We did the front too, but we're not showing the back front. Yeah. The front is just for us. Right, Diesel. So we went all the way around the fence again. This air conditioner was probably the best investment we've ever made. I mean, even if we didn't have a house, as long as we had an air conditioner, I think we'd be okay. We would just road it into our tent. Or something. Yeah. You gotta have AC. Yes, yeah, for them. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys think? Nicely mowed. Whew. Your wife's got some mad skills with that there push mower. Yeah, Britt mowed the whole yard. All that uh, practice in the in the old property front yard. This is a breeze now, eh? Oh my gosh, this plus the front yard is like a third of just our front yard at the old property. And I did that. It took me. I think it was like two hours and 15 minutes every single time I did it by hand. It's nuts. This is so much better. And of course, because the lawn is mowed, the dogs have to go and roll around in it every time. <laughs> they love fresh mowed grass. Flowers are popping back up. They were all just hammered by the rain last night. Have you seen that already? Your flowers are popping back up? Oh yeah, they're amazing. They pop back up so quick. Hmm. We hung up, uh, well, that frog over there, and uh, these sunflowers in here. Brighten up the backyard just a little bit. Everybody's enjoying being outside. Just not sure if you guys remember a few days ago, was it last weekend already? That's we made this, this pasta. Well, that was the other pasta. That was the, the other feta pasta. And the... That was a while ago. This one doesn't have feta? No, this is just the same as it was the other day. Oh. Yeah, we've just been eating a lot of pasta lately. Shh, don't tell my mother. I like pasta. Just settling down for supper here and hoping to be able to maybe run out to the dog park. There's a new dog park in Steinbeck. It's about time they opened one because there was nowhere to take your dogs in town. It'd go all the way to, oh, what, St. Anne? Or Niverville? Yeah. Go to a or dog Winnipeg. park? Or Winnipeg? So they finally opened one up here. Apparently it's just a fenced in field right now, but they're gonna get all kinds of things in there, I guess, for the dogs to climb on and I don't know. Yeah. Agility. Things. Agility courses and stuff. Should be good. So what is this? This is pasta Alfredo. No, not Alfredo. Rose. Sounds Rose. so distinguished. Rose. Oh, it's in here. That's where. The sauce is sauce. Spinach, a rose, shrimp, and mushroom. And mushroom. And what's inside these little uh ricotta little ricotta and spinach. Ricotta? And spinach. Yeah. And spinach. Cool. I mean it sounds healthy. Good enough for me. It's 
not that healthy. Oh, but there are worse things. It's better than KD. That's true. Chevy. Look at me, he just blends into the floor. We got Daisy. We got a whole bunch of tired dogs in here. <laughs> so we went to go explore and uh, check out that new Stymac dog park. It's actually really nice. They could add some more benches and stuff, but. Water fountain. And a water fountain for the dogs, but it's a nice big fenced in area. There's a separated, uh, it's separated so small dogs go on one side. Big dogs going the other, and everyone there was really nice. It was kind of nice to uh, be able to socialize again a little bit and uh, you know get out and see other people that we've never seen before. It was wild. It was awesome. It yeah. was a good experience. Yeah. I really like it. We're going to go there more often, yep. and we'll bring you guys with us. We just wanted to see how it was first without you know the burden of the camera this time around. Yeah, we were, uh, well, I was a little nervous about it. I didn't know what it would be like. I didn't know who would all be there. I didn't know if it'd be any good. And, uh, yeah. Left wanted the camera see, at this. Wanted to see how our boys would do first. Yeah, and they did really good. We brought Diesel and Chevy. Chevy did amazing. Diesel did really good, too. You're a good boy. Yeah, and all the other dogs there were very well behaved. There was one there that was just, uh, in training that needed to be socialized more but the owner kept him on a leash the whole time so that wasn't a big problem mm -mm. but uh yeah i'm just putting everything together now uh we're supposed to let's pick up the motorcycle well it's getting safety and inspected tomorrow on monday which means that if they can finish all the work on it tomorrow i'd probably get to pick it up tuesday after work but i don't know uh, I'm buying it off a co-worker, so uh, whenever they get done with it at the uh, at the shop, I'm sure I'll be able to take it home then. Really excited. I think you guys are really going to like it. The bike's going to suit me a lot better. She likes it a lot better. Yep, I won't make fun of him as much. Yeah, I'll find as much? What do you mean? Hey. Oh, maybe a little. You know I'm always going to tease you. It's because I like you. Yeah. So it's a Yamaha V-Star 650. It's the smaller V-Star, so she'll probably make fun of me for that. That's okay. At least it's uh, at least it's a cruiser. I don't need anything more than a 650. She doesn't want to come with me on the on on the bike, and I don't really like having passengers either. So the 650 is good for uh, like a single rider. You know, eventually one day I'll want to upgrade again. But it, it was a really good uh, swap. We didn't lose anything. It was like a net zero just swap. I sold my bike to somebody else in uh, Winnipeg, and I'm using that money to pay for this bike. And it's sort of like I just did a little switcheroo. And my insurance should be about half for a cruiser as for a sport bike. So insurance will be cheaper. Uh, I'll feel more comfortable on it, uh, physically and mentally. <laughs> feel better. And it sounds really nice. It does have some custom work done to the exhaust. So the, the stock V-Stars I know are very quiet. This one, uh, this one has a nice throaty rumble to it that I think everyone will appreciate. I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah, it's got leather saddlebags, so I'll have some storage finally. And, yeah, so that'll be some time this week when I'm excited about it. I'm excited for you. I wish mm -hmm. I enjoyed riding on the back of motorcycles, but I don't, so. Mm. Not my thing. Never felt safe. I don't feel as safe either having a passenger. I've done it before in the past. <coughs> I've had passengers, but it... I think it, it sort of takes some of the fun out of it. Because you're sort of worried about someone else's life then, right? Like, if I go on the bike and I tip it over while I'm putting myself in danger, when I have someone else on the bike with me, well, now i got a whole other life that I'm looking out for. You know, I'd be more careful. You can't move as quickly. These are things that you don't say in front of your wife after you buy a motorcycle. Yeah, but I never had an accident. Never even come close. Better not. Hmm. I just, I prefer to ride, ride single. And I've done a lot of research on the 650s. They, it'll, it'll do just fine for me. What, what I wanted to say before was that uh, once we pay off a few things yet, we want to get ourselves into a good financial spot. We want to build our house and sort of settle into a good groove for the rest of our life while we pay off that house. Once we're in a good financial spot, maybe I'll I'll sell it then and I'll look into uh, getting a Harley Davidson. That's my dream bike to have, but 
they're a little bit on the higher end of the price range for me. So the Yamaha V-Stars are like a quarter of the price, or half the price at least of a Harley. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're a pretty good competitor. I'm never going to be a poser and uh, think I'm a Harley. I got offered a, a Harley Davidson helmet and stuff, and I, just, I had to turn it down. I'm not going to be a poser. It's a Yamaha. I'm not going to pretend like I'm riding a Harley. Okay? <laughs> Blasphemy. I know. It's a Yamaha, but uh, I'm working my way one day. Get a Harley. I'm, I'm gonna be happy with this one for now, though. I don't need a Harley. <clears throat> Anyways, our boys look like they're super tired. Just conked out. I'm super tired. Their mom feels the same. Yeah, you're tired. I gotta get to bed. It's already 10 o'clock. And the sun hasn't really gone down yet, so it feels like it's only 7 o'clock. It's that time of year. The longest daylight hour day of the year is coming. June 21st. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. We had a good weekend. I hope you had a good weekend. And uh, we're back trucking in the morning. We'll see you then.